Great news is Logo Maker is integrated on Canva. And no, it's not replacing our creativity. If you stick with me on this video, I'm going to show you how to use Logo Maker, how to integrate it on your work to day to day processes. Answer the question if you can use it on Canva Pro or not, and how to integrate it with other AI tools. So how are you going to access it? You're going to go from your home page. You're going to go to apps and you're going to search for logo maker. So this is the app. It's called logo maker. So you're going to click and open it and it's going to ask you, do you want to use it in an existing design or do you want it in a new design? So like the app says here, you effortlessly create beautiful logos and it helps inspire you create amazing amazing logos that the logo maker has come up with for you so we're going to select use in a new design and we're going to customize the design and pick a nice size that i like and then show you how it works okay cool as simplistic as it can be it opens up a field where you could add your own description of what kind of a logo you want. So it does give it guidance to say that include words, objects, colors, shapes of exactly the type of logo that you want. Write your own prompts. You just add your own prompts. So I would then select create and then it starts generating the logo. And this is the logo that was created by the logo maker and then you can decide how you want to tweak it, how you want to manipulate it in a way that you want. The other way that you could use this tool that I think is a good idea is combine AI tools. So I've been asked to come up with an idea for a car, a selling car business logo. And I want to chat GPT. I wanted prompts that chat GPT could help me with. And it gave me five because I asked for five. So I'm going to copy this third one because I haven't tried the third one. What you then do, you paste your prompt of exactly what you want. So ChatGPT gives me more words and more colors and it gives me more than of what I could come up with by myself. When I click create, the logo maker starts. Okay, I have been trying for a couple of times preparing for this video. So it does tell me that I have a limit. So if you do get this message, it will tell you that you have, a, you've, you've reached your limit. Try again in an hour and then don't be alarmed when you see this and it's not generating. It's just that you've tried a couple of times. So let's test it on a free account. On the other account said to us, we've reached our limit. We're going to paste it on there and we're going to click on create. There you go. Mm. Not one of my favorite designs, but it inspires me. Let's try the eco-friendly logo idea and see what we come up with that. So it works for Canva free as well. Let me know if this is something you're going to be using on your creative process to help you get better ideas. And if you're a small business, let me know if you're going to be creating your logo like this. What is the conclusion in my opinion? Logo makers do not replace our creativity. You could do two things in my opinion is you could take the inspiration that you got from the logo maker and you could start creating your own logo based on the creativity and the inspiration that you got from the idea from the logo. So you could definitely go see and start creating something similar and round and based on this on your own using shapes on Canva. We've seen how amazing shapes can be on Canva and how you can manipulate them to create exactly what you want. So in my opinion, it is there to inspire us, to make us better, and to help us come up with very, very clever ideas. The second thing that I would do is this is an image and we know Canva has a lot of AI tools that helps us tweak images that we've created. So say I want to 
tweak this particular image and use some of it you could crop it out crop out the rest of the images that you don't want to use make this one a little bit bigger and then select the image click on edit image and start going to magic studio and start using the grab so say i just want to use the car and i want to grab it then i want to see click on magic grab and we've seen with the new canva create that it will ask you what is it that you want to grab and then you can click on whatever it is that you want to grab so i want to grab this one using the new click i select what i want to grab and i click on grab and i have it i can delete the rest of what i don't want to use and just use this vintage car that i absolutely think is amazing press t for text And you could create something like this that is made by you and you like and you love not everybody is a fan of logo makers if you like to get more ideas on shape logos please go visit this playlist i will see you on our next video